Greetings. This is Ethiopian reporter Digital Media News and I'm Nets Anna Bzualem. Here are the headlines. Scarcity of fertilizer supply forces diplomacy. Ethiopia to legally quit coal imports beginning next year. Ermia Salibaba anticipates e-commerce company to be online in half a year. The government of Ethiopia is forced to deploy diplomacy as prices of fertilizers in the international market doubles, threatening Ethiopia's foreign currency reserve. After repetitive international bids fail to fetch potential fertilizer suppliers, Ethiopian embassy in Russia is exerting efforts to directly access urea at factory prices. Kefle Oldamariam, CEO of Ethiopian Agricultural Business Corporation, which processes the import supply and price stabilization of agricultural inputs, say that currently they are investing their hope in Russia. Kafle said, our embassy is communicating with Russia and Russia is a natural gas producer, hence fertilizer producer. If the effort with Russia fails, we have no choice but to buy from the market with the highly inflated price. Globally, countries are not willing to export urea since COVID-19 took hold. This is because price of natural gas is highly inflated in these countries. According to the state minister, Dr. Sofia Akasa, the agriculture ministry also requested for an additional foreign currency allocation from the central bank to compensate the price hikes. Currently, the Ministry and Corporation are revising farm gate prices of fertilizers to compensate the additional cost of fertilizer in the international market by channeling part of it to the farmers. According to our reporter Ashan Nafi Indale, the government is also reassessing the fertilizer demand with the possibilities of downsizing the volume. The government of Ethiopia gave a year ultimatum to a group of local investors to substitute coal imports as Ethiopia continues to aspire to become self-sufficient in coal supply and demand by next year. Eight local investors embarked on coal washing projects to comb impurities out of local coal and improve its head value. With 6.1 billion bearing capital and 4.2 million tons of local coal pledged to be washed annually, the eight investors see no obstacles other than foreign currency to import the coal washing technology soon. Engineer Takala Oma, Minister of Mines, signed agreements with the eight investors on the 13th of January 2022 and these companies were selected out of a dozen eager companies under the first phase. The government is determined to save the 300 million US dollars it spends on importing coal annually. Takala said that despite the huge coal reserves the country has, it could not substitute imports. This is because the previous regime worked hard to make Ethiopia remain import dependent, claiming that local coal is substandard and cannot generate sufficient heat. Managers of all the eight companies say they are already in the process of installing the coal washing machines and pledged to resume production in months' time. Rough estimations indicate that there are close to 250 million tons of coal reserves in major coal belt crossings in Jelga, Jema, Kamashi and Dauro. Nonetheless, environmentalists stress that Ethiopia's decision to mass coal mining is against global measures taken towards ending coal energy usage, as Ashanaf Indala reports. A game-changing e-commerce company is slated to join Ethiopia's digital economy within the next six months. The e-commerce company, which is nearing implementation, is built from the partnership between Alibaba, China's e-commerce giant, and Ermias Amelga, an Ethiopian business magnate with immense experience in banking, technology, and real estate, among others. Ermia stated that it will take him six months to launch the company and start implementations and that there are some challenges such as difficulties in accessing foreign currency. He added that he had partnered with Alibaba to launch an e-commerce company in Ethiopia and the name of the new company will include Alibaba and other local names that represent us. The new e-commerce platform on which all items in Ethiopian shops will have a digital presence is expected to place Ethiopia on a new digital economic trajectory with end-to-end -end online ordering, e-payment and delivery systems. Similarly, the Ministry of Trade and Regional Integration is also finalizing a new platform that will serve the Chinese community in Ethiopia, which is estimated to be close to 300,000. The agreements were reached when Jack Ma, Alibaba's founder, visited Ethiopia, as Ashana Findala reports. That was all for today. For more information, please visit our website, thereportethiopian.com. Thank you for watching.